I have turned my Nintendo Switch into a piano, I have turned it into a guitar, and now I'm gonna be turning it into a drum step sequencer. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up, I'm creating the step counter. Not only will the step counter show which step is currently being played, but it will also be responsible for triggering the drum sounds. The step counter is made by connecting a touch input to a timer, which will wait for half a second and then pass the signal onto a light output, as well as trigger a second timer and then it will repeat this whole process several times. So now that I've got my step counter, I'm going to be making some buttons which will light up after being touched. I've used a touch input, a timer, a counter and a light to create these buttons. Next up, I'm going to add in a couple of bullseye nodes. These act like switches and turn on when light passes through them. I've put one bullseye node on the light up button and I've also put one on the step counter. These are passed through an AND node. Then this is output to a sound which I've chosen to be a kick drum. So basically when both of the bullseyes detect light at the same time, they will trigger a kick drum. Now one kick drum simply isn't enough, so let's go ahead and make seven more. There we go, so now I've got 8 kick drum steps, let's go ahead and give them a little test. That is working perfectly so far, but I feel like I'm going to need a few more drum sounds. That is much better. Now my step sequencer is technically working, I've got separate rows for the kick, snare, hi-hat and ride, but now I feel like I have to go ahead and add in some more features. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the ability to change the tempo that the sequencer plays at. At the same time I'm also going to make the sequencer loop instead of just playing once through. This meant that I had to go ahead and add in a stop button as well, which actually took a lot more work than I expected. I ended up using a whole lot of and nodes in between each step, which means that every new step the sequencer will check to see if the tempo button is lit up, if it is, it will carry on playing. If not, it will stop playback. And I've just done this whole process twice for two separate speeds. So anyway, this is the completed design. Why don't we go ahead and test it out? So there we go, that is the first step of my Nintendo Switch step sequencer. I've been working on small parts of this design over the past couple of weeks, but I haven't actually put together a fully working version until today. In fact, I hadn't even tried out the tempo changing or looping function until right now. So I'm just really glad that it all worked out in the end. I'm going to be working on the Switch sequencer over the next couple of weeks. I want to design a cardboard enclosure as well as add on a whole lot of other features. So I might make a video of an updated version in the future. Let me know if that is something you would like to see. And yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.